Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be replacing battery on a Dell Inspiron 16 7620 model. Or you can take a look at the back of your laptop. Here, it will show you the model of P119F. All right, so if your computer is not taking the charge, or maybe the battery runs out very quickly, then it's more likely has to do with the battery that is not holding the charge. All right, so the first thing you need to do is get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. This is a tiny little Phillips here, and it's 1.5. That is the size of the, um, the bit, the Phillips on the, on the top. So let's go ahead and remove the screws. Tiny little screw here. There are four screws at the bottom. Once you have removed the screw, let's work on the one on the top. The top screw, they do not come off. So when you unscrew and you hear that little clicking noise, that is when you need to stop because the screw have reached its limits and it is separate separating the plastic cover okay so as you can see the top is already separated some of the plastic cover here all you have to do is just kind of work your way around it and pop it open now my one is a lot easier to pop open because I have um, open it up earlier but if you have some difficulties to pop it open um, again trust me the only screws that was removed were the two here in the middle and four here at the bottom. The other three here on the top, they do not come off, um, but you might want to use a, a plastic prying tool like this to kind of pry open the, the back cover because the side of the cover here has all the clipper and those clipper are clipping onto the computer. So it makes it difficult to pop it open. But once you get it popped open, then it's quite easy and you can just remove it. All right, the next step is to get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. Here I'll be using the PH1. Uh, it's, it's slightly bigger here, the Phillips. Let's go ahead and start removing the screws. So we are, we are replacing the battery here. Okay, and this is the connector that connects the entire battery. What I like to do is to get a plastic prying tool. I like to use the method of pull and push. So I'm pushing down. So if you see the clipper right in the center, there's a little plastic here. So I'm using the plastic prying tool to get a good leverage on pushing it down. At the same time, I'm pulling the cable as well. Okay, so pretty much it just slide towards your towards my body. So slide it down towards my body. That's how you disconnect that connector. And yep, there's no clipper or anything that secure the connector. You just slide in to install and slide out to remove. Once you have removed that connector, the entire battery will just come right off. Now, if your battery is swollen or there's a lump to it, then it's, it is obviously time to uh, change out the battery. A new battery, a working good battery, you can see that the plastic is flat on the top and the back. So that indicate it's a good battery. Now, where do you find a battery replacement? Look out for this number here, DWVRR. Okay, it's an Alienware kind of manufacturer battery from Dell. Or you can look it up here, which is CN-0NR6MH. All right, if you're not sure where to find them, hopefully I have it up on a um, 
hopefully there's something people can sell it on eBay or Amazon I'll try to link it in the down description below and uh, so that you guys can go ahead and, and click on the link to buy them now assuming this is the new battery that comes in uh, all you have to do is just to position the battery back again to the slot okay have to screw get back to where it was tighten up the screws okay once you have all the six screws go back onto the battery now we can reconnect the connector so just position the connector back to the bracket and then you kind of use your fingernail and push it in so I'm just sliding and pushing it back in get your plastic prying tool give it a little push on both sides making sure they reach all the way to the end of the connector all right once you have done that process all you have to do is just to have the cover back in press it down on all corners just to get the clipper to go back in <clears throat> once you have the clipper it goes back in put all the screws back together and that should be it all right if you do find this video is helpful please uh, give me a like smash the like button for me and if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe and yeah if you want to uh, just to show appreciation of this video if it helps you uh, please feel free to click the super tanks in YouTube they do have this super tanks meaning that you can send a thank you to me and I would really appreciate for helping out the channel. Alright, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.